Hello, my name is Katie St. Norris with St. Norris Wealth Management and in this video we're going to talk about what to do if you're ready to file your taxes but you still didn't receive your W-2. Let's get going. So W-2 is the form that you should receive from your employer every year and the deadline is January 31st for your employer to provide it to you. If you didn't get your W-2 through regular mail, email, or directly at your place of business, here are five things you can do to get your W-2 and information you need so you're ready to file your taxes. Number one, don't panic and check with your employer. Usually it's just a simple mistake. Double check that the payroll company has your correct mailing address. What happens it's the end of February and you still don't have your W-2? It's time to contact the IRS. You should call this toll-free phone number and the IRS will help you to substitute your form W-2. I'll link to the phone number down below the video. When you're ready to call them, make sure you have the following information with you so you don't waste time. Name, address, social security number, and your phone number. Employer's name, address, and the phone number. Employment dates estimate of wages and federal income taxes withheld in 2019. You can use your final pay stub for these amounts. After this phone call, the IRS sends a letter to your employer, urging them to send the replacement W-2, and it usually does the trick. Step number three, something happened, you didn't receive your W-2, uh, maybe your employer's not in business anymore, what can you do to fix it? You should fill out form 4852. Let's take a look at the form. It's a substitute form for W-2. It's only one page form, nothing complicated. You have to fill your name, address, social security number, employer's name, address, and to the best of your abilities, provide the information for wages, state income taxes withheld, federal income taxes withheld, and the important item on line number nine, you have to explain how you determine the items seven and eight. Well, eight you, if you are asking for replacement 1099R. Seven is for W-2. And on the line number 10, explain your efforts to obtain your form W-2. Uh, if you don't have enough space, you can always include the additional statement. At the bottom of the form, you can find general instructions. Also, I put the link for this form at the bottom of the video. It will be very useful to keep the information you, you provided through your phone call with the IRS in order to fill out that form 4852. So keep those records. Next step, number four you have a W-2 or you don't have it, it's April 15th and it's time to file your taxes. You can do one of two things. You can either file your taxes with the numbers that you have or file an extension form 4868 and get automatic six months extension. Step number five, correct you return if necessary. So you file your taxes using the amounts from your form 4852 
and then finally you received your W-2 and the official amounts are different from the amounts you are estimated. It could be a bonus you received. For example, the last pay stub you used was 45000 but in your final W-2 it shows your bonus of $1,200 that you received and you didn't count for that. What you should do is file an amended tax return on the form 1040X to make sure that changes on your tax returns are correct. I'll add the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video.